Welcome back to our devotional video for today. Today we are uh, closing up <clears throat> Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, looking at 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 through 18. Uh, and this, as all of Paul's letters have, has a, you know, closing thoughts. You know, a last, you know, I've, I've written this whole letter, but I want to focus on one thing. You know, this one last, you know, it's kind of like parents as the kid is leaving, drive safe, you know, just this little last kind of greeting. In this, verse 13 through 15 is what Paul says. As for you, brothers, do not grow weary in doing good. If anyone does not obey what we, have, what we say in this letter, take note of that person and have nothing to do with him that he may be ashamed. Do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. You know, this reading this, this just makes me think of when Jesus, uh, when Jesus tells his followers how to deal with someone who is in sin. You know, there's this whole process of if someone sins, you know, bring it to them so that they can realize it and repent. And then if you if they do, congratulations, you've won your brother over. And he goes through this process. And the, and the last process, or the last step of the process, is if, you know, this uh, if the church, if it's taken to the church uh, and, and this person still doesn't see that they have sinned, Jesus says, treat them as you would an outsider or a non-believer. And now when we, when we hear that, it can be easy to think, okay, well, I'm not going to have anything to do with them. In fact, I was listening to a podcast, a Christian podcast recently, and I'm not going to say what uh, church, uh, church body they are, what, a, so, uh, what denomination, uh, but there was, they were talking about that verse, and they even interpreted it like, treat them as you would an outsider, and they said, shun them. And that was kind of dis disheartening to hear because that is not what Jesus is saying, and that's not what Paul is saying here. You know, for Jesus, if someone is caught in sin, you know, the point is to, to get them to come to repentance. And, and for here, Paul is saying, hey, if someone's not listening to this, use that, uh, have nothing to do with them, let that be a warning to them, that it, it awakens them. And so it creates this kind of law, this sense of law of I've done something wrong. I need to I need to turn around and go the other way on what I'm thinking. Too often as Christians, we get that wrong. We think, okay, this person thinks differently, even if it's another Christian. And, you know, they're just, they're, they're wrong. So I'm just going to, as Paul says here, have nothing to do with them. But... That's not the right way of, of reading that because that's ending at verse 14. But verse 15 is, do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. You see how this is done. It's done out of love. It's for the result of winning over your brother. Same with the example that Jesus gave. As Christians, we need to be slow to uh, anger, be slow to judgment, be quick to love, be quick to understanding and ultimately, our goal should be unity. Both people in and outside the church, our goal should be to, to show them the love of Christ that changes their life, that brings unity within the church and unity before them and God. And so uh, this is just a great reminder as Paul closes out this letter, uh, you know, don't regard him as an enemy. You know, we should not be looking at anybody is our enemy. Our enemies are not with flesh and blood, but against the devil, against unbelief. And our goal should always be winning them over, however uh, however that takes place, you know, through the right processes and everything. So just a great reminder from Paul as we close out uh, this letter to the Thessalonians. May God bless the rest of your day.